What's up, bread gang? It's been a couple days. How's everybody doing? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I know y'all want me to jump into the video, but real quick, if you haven't already, I'm really trying to hit 10K. I will have a lot quicker updates of what's going on and everything like that on my Instagram. So hit the link in the description below. If you're if it's your first time on the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Join the bread gang, the biggest, baddest, greatest group of people ever assembled to get this bread. Because that's what we like to do. So a lot of good things, a lot of bad things going on on the channel right now. But good news is we're always going to find a way to push through and make it, you know, kind of your minor setback for major comeback situation you know my motto right now as cheesy as it is is make every situation a part of your success story you know that that's my goal right now some some really you know bad times on the channel and just some tough situations to be in but we're gonna push through so let's roll the intro and we'll get into the title of the video they're gonna hate me for this one So, y'all know obviously, title of the video is this the end of that wide bow tie? Um, I'll start with that. Obviously, so just to get straight to it, the problem with my truck ended up being the differential. So the front differential has completely taken, taken a crap on me, if you will. And it needs new gears. So it needs new gears. I don't think I've damaged the differential casing or the shell or whatever you want to call it. Um, as of right now, I don't, the two people that have looked at it, I have not damaged that. So hopefully it's just gears in the front. Um, the end of that wide bow tie, probably not. You know, a couple days ago, I was kind of throwing it around. But, you know, I love, I love YouTube. I love all of you guys. The bread gang is everything to me. You know, we're just getting started. We've got so much more to do. I had, you know, I just have huge, huge plans for this channel and for the truck and just, you know, for, you know, beyond that as well. So um, the end of that wide bow tie, probably not. The main reason, you know, I made that the title is a couple days ago when I found out this was going to happen. I thought it was going to cost a lot more than what it is to fix it. You know, it's only going to be a couple thousand probably to fix the front differential. Um, and I was contemplating selling the truck, maybe getting a Duramax. But, you know, as of right now, that's not really what I want to do. So I'm not going to, you know, get into that. Um, I'm going to keep the truck. We're going to fix it. We're going to keep, you know, keep chugging along and, you know, making content and building the truck. So um, the front gears, yes, front gears are completely destroyed. I need new gears in it. Um, currently, it's sitting at one of the dealerships here in town that have a Chevy specialist. They looked at it. They are not able to do new gears. They can put a new diff differential in it but that's with factory gear so I have to take it to another shop so currently that's where it's sitting I'm going tomorrow I think me and Brian are gonna go pick it up with a buddy of ours Paul huge shout out to Paul um, I'm gonna put his Instagram link in the description as well so make sure to check him out below Paul um, huge shout out to you you're the man um, you know way more than everybody knows but um, so that's where it's sitting right now um, while it's my plan I'm gonna go pick it up take it to the shop I will be, you know, I want, I was thinking about taking some time off from YouTube, trying to get all this, you know, figured out and, you know, just spend a couple weeks and skip Daytona and all of that, which I'll get to, but you know, I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to film the whole, the whole process, you know, it's going to be a week or two before I get the truck back, which kind of sucks. But I mean, that that's part of having these big nine inch, you know, 375 trucks, you know, you're, you're going to run into issues and like I said, you know, make every setback a part of the success story. When, when the channel hits 50K one day or some crazy crap, we'll be able to look back and say, you remember when, you know, you destroyed your differential. Um, so it'll get sent over there. We're going to check out the rear um, just to make sure everything's okay with the rear. I'm keeping the 488s, um, but I do have some other, some other goodies that are going on the truck. So um, along with the new gears, I think I'm going to add a couple other things to it while it's in the shop. So stay tuned for that. Um, I know the biggest question y'all are probably, you know, wanting answered is, you know, what exactly caused it? I'm not exactly sure. Nobody's exactly sure what caused it. The gears have only been on there for a year. So for them to have gone out already doesn't really make any sense to anybody that's looked at it. But the company or the shop, I'm not going to name any names that did it, is out of business now and they're having some legal issues. So, um, Again, I'm not I'm not a bad person. I'm not bashing anybody. It could there's no telling what it could be. It could have been me driving it in four wheel drive for ten minutes. I don't know, but you know I hope everything in, ends up okay with them. I don't you know wish any negative harm on anybody or anything like that. You know, so you know 
I hope everything ends up okay with them. Um, again, you know, I'm having to pay, you know, thousands of dollars to try and get this fixed, which is going to put me in a bad spot. But, and I'm not afraid to admit that, you know, I will be in a bad spot for a while, but it's, you know, it's the bread game. We're, we're going to make it work. If the people, those of you that know me know that if I want something bad enough, if I'm focused and determined on something like this YouTube thing, you know, and having the truck that I want and, you know, living how I am, you know, nothing's going to stop me from getting there. And, you know, that's something that, you know, I really want to make the bread gang about is, you know, motivating each other and making sure that anything that you want possible can happen. You just have to be willing to, you know, set your mind to it. And I'm the type of person, you know, even in a bad spot, you know, I have my, I had a day where I was just kind of down and trying to figure out what to do and, you know, contemplating selling the truck and, you know, quitting YouTube and all that, which isn't going to happen. Obviously, you know, I just got to go through my, my day of, you know, just like, you know, kind of mentally shut down for a little bit. And, you know, as soon as I, you know, get through that, we make a plan, we make it happen. So, you know, I will always come out on top. Nothing is ever going to stop me from being successful. So that's what we're doing. You know, we're going to, we're going to spend a couple thousand and fix the truck. And I mean, I had great content. I'm so upset. I had great content film ready this week. I had two or three different trucks. I was going to add on the channel. My headlights, my new headlights are coming in this week. The wheel lights were getting finished this week and Daytona next week. So, you know, I had a huge, huge lineup of content for you guys which you know i can still do at some point and i definitely plan on doing all of those videos but you know i just i got huge stuff in store we're gonna we're gonna make this a positive so i'm gonna try and film the whole process um of course the truck isn't gonna be on the on the channel for a couple weeks unfortunately um i might stop by the shop and just check on progress every now and then but i mean I'm, i really want to make you know this time about the bread gang let's try and get some new trucks on the channel hit me up if y'all want to film i mean we're gonna keep going you know at the end of the day uh, the channel is bigger than the truck I could get rid of the truck tomorrow and I would hope y'all would still watch because you know it's it's more about you know me as a channel you know I want to the the channel itself so that's what's going on with the truck differential is screwed um, at the end of the day it's gonna get fixed just it's just gonna take some time so bear with me guys I'm gonna try some new stuff on the channel maybe I'll go back to doing a couple fishing videos just for the hell of it why not but we're, we're just gonna have some fun on the channel again you know not you know kind of bore you guys with the install videos so um, I'm, I'm really getting to where I see this as a as a positive more than a negative so um, as far as Daytona um, I think I'm still going I won't obviously the truck won't be going with me but I think I will be over there for a day or two I, I'm not exactly sure yet Instagram will see that at some point so that's why hit the link in the description and follow me on Instagram help me out and get to 10k you know we're in tough times let's try and make it a positive so that's all I got for you guys today of course the truck is sitting at the dealership so that's why I'm sitting in my mom's car right now because I needed you know a car to drive around for a couple days so um, love you guys so much huge shout out to the bread gang oh and I'm finalizing decal designs probably today so decals will be for sale soon probably by the end of the week hopefully um, I will have a video that I film once I get some designs and I can share to you guys I haven't finalized a price or how many or anything yet um, it will be PayPal that you have to pay through so as soon as I get those up I'll blast it on YouTube blast it on Instagram so y'all can start getting some and you know help support the bread gang so and that you know helps any money I make goes back to the truck and back to, you know, buying new camera equipment, stuff like that. So it just helps make the channel better. So I love you guys so much. I love the bread gang. Thank you so much for the support. We will get through this tough time, troubling times in the kingdom. But, you know, that's, that's just what it's all about. You know, we go through ups, we go through downs, but we're going to always come out on top. So I hope you guys have a great day. And as always, let's get this bread. Yes, sir.